So, hey, you're right. Uh, my topic today is ASEAN community and highlights me for English opportunity for better job opportunity in 2015. We are becoming one community, ASEAN community, in 2015. Ten countries in Southeast Asia will be unified. Things will change. A lot of things have to be done. A lot of things have to be prepared. And we need to prepare ourselves to advance into that unification. Today I'm just carrying some information on how we go on living together on a sustainable basis, on a productive basis, on carrying things basis. So let's start with the overview of our RCN group or RCN community. You can see the from the chart. Just move down, I think. The first one, the first one. Okay, you can see we have the uh, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations called ASEAN, which was established on the 8th August 1967, 13 years after my birth, <laughs> in Bangkok, Thailand, with the signing of the ASEAN Declaration or Bangkok Declaration. We have what, Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos, on the top in Thailand, Cambodia or Kampusha. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Indonesia, Brunei, and the Philippines. <coughs> it's going to be a big community competing with EU in Europe. And I know India, China, and other big nations are getting involved in this new unification as well. India will get some benefits. India will play a big role in business sector, in industrial sector, in, in the education sector as well. So I envision that India will be a major part, a major player in this unification of ASEAN countries or nations. Then ASEAN was established with the aims and purposes. Here are the purposes, just for short, to accelerate the economic growth, social progress, and cultural development in the region, to promote regional peace and stability through abiding respect for justice and the rule of law, to promote active collaboration and mutual assistance on matters of common interest in the economic, social, cultural, technical, scientific, and administrative groups. To provide assistance to each other in the form of training and research facilities to collaborate more effectively for the greater utilization of their agricultural industries, the expansion of their trade, the of blood. Six, to promote Southeast Asian studies. And finally, to maintain close and beneficial cooperation with each other, of course. We have some fundamental principles. Six, altogether mutual respect, the right of every state, non-interference, settlement of differences or disputes by peaceful manner, like what you have non alliance here in, in, in South Asia, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, etc. And, and then the renunciation of threat of use of force and finally effective cooperation among themselves. We in fact have ASEAN Charter. 34 classes 